Hi, I'm Romilly and I'm back with another embroidery stitch for you. Today we're going to learn chain stitch. If I can keep my threads from running away. And we're going to work with the right hand first. This is the traditional method of chain stitch. We're also going to add detached chain stitch, which is also called a lazy daisy. We'll do that in the middle after we've gotten our hands, our heads wrapped around the chain. Again, we're going to start with an away start away from our list. We're going to start on the right, moving left. This is because when you're sewing, it's with the right hand, it's easier to go this way. If you're stabbing, start wherever you want. Sometimes it's easier to go all the way around. So, we're going to start with an away waist knot. And we're going to bring it up here. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of this line. You know, I could have got, could go down the middle of the straight of these, which will give a different look. Feel free to use your use your fabric to practice and play with and see how it works better on which lines or not lines. So this is a looped stitch. The second style of stitches that we talked about in the introduction. Meaning we're going to make a loop and go down in the same hole in this case. And then we're going to bring that up the length of our, the stitch we want. In this case, eh, about an eighth of an inch, a little bit long, maybe a little bit longer. And pull it back through. And that makes a little loop, which is your first chain. And since we're going to make a chain of chains, we're going to go down in the same hole. And then bring it up, keeping the loop. Same distance. The key to a good chain stitch is keeping the stitches long the same length. If some of them are longer and some of them are shorter, unless that's unless you're intending that as a design feature, it can get really weird really fast. So to make a straight straight line of chain stitches, you want them to be about the same size. You'll see that's three, and I've been stabbing, but you can also you can also sew, so again you put your finger underneath it, down in the same hole, up where you want the chain to length of the, of the stitch, and pull it through. Making a loop, down through the same hole, up the length of your stitch away, and pulling it out through. Same hole, up, up, no loop. You want to make sure that there's a loop and come through the loop. If you have finer thread, your stitches need to be shorter. This is about the probably about the right length for these. If I go too long for the thread, instead of a chain, I end up with a long line, which can be useful. Like other like all the other stitches, you want to make sure if you're going to go around a corner, you're going to want to shorten your stitches. Curves, curves do not like long stitches. They prefer short stitches. And when you're done with the line, so you're always going down through the same hole in the loop and coming out outside of it. When you're done with the line and you want to move on, you can just tack your thread. Just a little stitch to hold down that loop so that it doesn't unravel. Because this stitch is like a crocheted chain. If you pull on it, it should unravel all the way down. A detached chain, which I'm going to do down a little bit, is just one set of loops. So you'll make a loop and you'll come up like as if you're going to make another chain. And that's the whole chain. That's the whole stitch. So that's a detached chain or a lazy daisy stitch. It's a lazy daisy stitch because you can do them in a circle. Oops. 
and you have an instant flower. Now there are a lot of variations for chain stitches, but these, these are the two major ones, straight chain and lazy daisy. Next week we'll go through reverse chain, which just makes chain stitch a little easier to stitch. So there's there's a daisy made with lazy day with lazy daisy stitch, and you can just keep going. And at this point we'll switch over to the left hand. So for left handers, this is the chain stitch. We're going to start it with an away stitch again. I'm not bothering to tie a knot. You don't have to if you can keep your if you can keep your um, tension well. I did this on this line and I went down into there so I'm going to go down and do this on this this line down here. So we're going to bring bring this um, thread up through where you want the chain to start and you're going to go down you're going to make a loop and go down in the same hole you came up. You can use the other hand to hold the loop. Now, the distance of your stitch is the size of your loop. So we're bringing it back up. And I'm going to this left-handed. So there's your first loop. The reason we're starting on the left going right is because if we sew, you're going to want to... It's an easier direction for the left-handed. If you're stabbing, you can go any direction you want. We're going to bring that for the second stitch down into the same hole, bringing it through, and then bringing it up for the next stitch, trying to keep those stitches straight and even. And down in the same hole. I sometimes use my other hand to, to make sure to stabilize the fabric. And up. So if you're going to if you're going to do the stitching method, down in the same hole, up a little bit ahead, and pull. Down in the same hole, up a little bit ahead, and pull. Down in the same hole, up a little bit ahead. You'll notice this is basically a back stitch with a loop around it. Down up and pull through. The stitching method is a lot faster and it can be done in a frame, it can be done in hand without a frame. To end a row, let's put one more, let's put one more stitch on here. Down in the same hole, up a little bit farther, and this is going to be the last stitch in this line. So to finish it, oops, you just push down over the top of that loop, catching it, and holding it down so that it doesn't unravel. Detached chain or lazy daisy stitch is exactly the same, except you're going to end it after one chain. So down in the same hole, and we're going to bring it up with the length of the chain and drop it. You'll want to play around with a doodle cloth to make sure that you know when you're using a certain thread that you know how long a loop it can handle and still stay a loop. This thread's pretty thick, so you can make pretty long long stitches with it and still have it look like look like a chain stitch. We're making a little I'm making a little flower here. An uneven flower because I'm not really paying attention. But the petals with the petals each being a lazy daisy. Now, here let me show you. If I pull this way over here, it's still
still a loop because of the thing, but if you've got, because it's a thicker yarn, but if you've got a, using an embroidery floss or something fine, see how that will elongate and it doesn't actually look like, like the loop. It can be a really good effect if you want that. And if you pull that through on the bottom, you'll see it just pulls pulls out. And if it were there was a line of them, you might pull the whole line out, depending on what your thread went through. So for that last one, we'll go back and do it here. And there's our little uneven chain. I did it better with my right hand. Oh well. And that's that's your chain stitch and your lazy daisy stitch. And coming back tomorrow next week we will work on again a chain stitch, but we're going to reverse it and we're gonna work it backwards, which sometimes can be a little bit easier. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.